I'm Angela Stribling, sitting here with the beautiful and talented Keiko Matsui. Welcome back to the Capital Jazz Festival. Thank you very much. I'm happy to be back. Uh, you could tell just <laughs> your energy when you were performing. You really give so much of yourself when you're performing. Actually, I feel like I'm I'm receiving energy from above, universe or something, and I, I just happy to share this feeling with the audience. And clearly, you enjoy coming back to the Capital Jazz Festival yeah. because I remember, I'm trying to remember if it was 1994, 95, and you were performing. I was recording, uh, I think uh, this is like third or fourth time I'm performing, but um, yeah, at least eight years, or long time I Many. haven't been. That's so, wonderful. Mm -hmm. So what do you like about performing at the Capital Jazz Festival? Well, actually, this uh, uh, versatile artist and uh, um, great audience and just uh, this is a great way to share music um, and uh, beyond the category, beyond the genre, so it is wonderful. Your fans absolutely love you, your oh. music, and you're just so drop-dead gorgeous. Your fashion, as soon as you hit the stage, it was just beautiful, music beautiful. You have 24, 25 CDs? Yes, now my new album, Soul Quest, is my 24th in wow. US. Oh my goodness. Yes, unbelievable. And um, uh, last year I was, I was celebrating my 25th anniversary of US career. Wow, that's but, huge. Yeah, but lately I have been traveling so much. Um, besides the US and Japan, I tour in Eastern Europe and Africa and other places. But uh, just uh, I feel great because uh, music connects us mm. in any situation. You're so right, the music does connect us. Uh -huh. uh, you're being from Japan. Mm -hmm. They love jazz in Japan as well. Oh, yes. yes. But the, the performances mm -hmm. in Japan versus, or I should say out of the country versus in the United States, mm -hmm. what's the big difference for you? Well, uh, um, well, of course in the US I can see and hear how uh, audience react to my song because they remember from uh, 90s and uh, so I, I'm happy to find that and also like in Russia it's totally different um, um, reaction I see it's like a classical concert but at the end they don't stop like blah 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 and sometimes in South Africa they clap but at the same time I feel like wow they are kicking the arse or something like whoa <laughs> so much energy wow. and I think they are um, they have a passion to get some uh, great elements from the music mm. so each each country and each city has different thing yeah. But you know what, you're so right. You said earlier, mm -hmm. the music connects us. It doesn't mm -hmm. matter the language you speak. Right. Right? Right. Yeah. I mean, beyond the uh, religion, beyond the language, beyond the, any situation. So even uh, we have lots of difficulty uh, between countries on this earth. Yeah. But when we are at the concert, I just feel very we are connected. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I love your music. I absolutely love you. You're so sweet and you're so gorgeous. Tell me about your fashion influences. Well, actually, uh, from this album, I started kind of designing and uh, what I like. And uh, of course, I, I'm not a singer. I have to play, right? So certain things, certain freedom I need to move around. So I just sketch and I, I brought to them uh, my friend Taylor and he made for me. And this is kind of original gorgeous. Thank you. Drop dead gorgeous. Thank you so much for talking to Thank us you. and nice for your beautiful you music. Nice seeing you too. Yes. Thank you. Keiko Matsui and Angela Stribling for Capital Jazz TV.